going up against one of the best players in the league and, and Alyssa Thomas. Just what is it like banging against her all game long? She's strong. It's hard. Um, she's really good all around. She's a facilitator, rebounder, um, a good defender. So you have to be more strategic when you play against her. Um, a lot of that fourth quarter, especially at the end of the fourth quarter, you're bringing the ball up, you're making the decisions. How can you learn from a game like this? And not that the turnovers are necessarily your fault, but just managing end of game situations and being someone who has the ball in their hand. Um, I think we just need to kind of settle down, honestly. Um, we were so close. I mean, the game was for the taking for us. And through stupid moves on our part, turnovers, or letting them score in the paint, we let it slip through our fingers. So I think we need to learn how to win. We keep getting in these situations where we're so close, and we could be 4-2 and two right now, I mean, easily. And those games are, like I said, slipping through our fingers. So we have to, as a team, change our mindset. Otherwise, we're going to continue to lose. Uh, lastly, for me, just as a captain, uh, how do you manage the situation? Have you ever been in this situation? And does an attitude change from how you approach game one versus what the next game will be? I've never been in this situation. Uh, I mean, it's tough. It sucks to be 0-6. And, I mean, there's nothing really to say at this point. We keep saying the same thing over and over again. And until we actually execute in the game, we're going to be answering the same questions from you guys. Like, you guys are asking the same questions because we keep doing the same thing on the court. So until we're changing what we're doing, I don't really have anything new to say because it's what's disappointing is a lot of his effort. It's not like they're shooting tough shots. They're getting stuff in the paint, layups, which is really controllable by us. So when, you were, when Coach was asked about your performance tonight, she pointed out two rebounds. Yeah. Your thoughts on two rebounds tonight? Um, I mean, part of my job is rebounding. And one of the things that our goals was to keep them off the rebound, off the boards. Uh, so I have to do a better job of getting in there because that's what killed us is their second chance points. Can you two talk about the defensive effort, what you're seeing on the court? You know. We obviously are getting your coach's opinion, but is there anything that you two are noticing from yourselves, from your teammates, that's kind of maybe leading to s some of this where teams are getting easier opportunities at the basket or things like that? Um, I think we're watching the ball a lot. Like, we, it feels like we're so, like, just watching it, nervous, like, what's going to happen, or boxing out and not focusing on actually getting the rebound. And so, it, like, we're crowding in towards the basket instead of fanning out to get it because most of the ones are going over our heads and they're getting it to pass back out to the free throw line or get back in. So we have to have this, like, mentality where we're going to um, not get an RA, which is a huge thing that uh, Cheryl says, and go seek it instead of just watching it to go through the net. Jess, it looked like you uh, you rolled your ankle in, uh, in pregame warm-ups. What exactly happened and, and how much of an effort did, they, did the trainers do to get you ready to play? Uh... I did roll my ankle, but uh, we just came back to the training room. They did some treatment. We took care of it, and then uh, I was good to play. Didn't bother you at all tonight? Didn't look like it did. Nope. For other player, before the game, K-Mac talked about playing uh, desperation, I think was the word she used. It felt like there was some of that tonight, but not enough. And how do you get over that hump to make that for a full 40? Yeah, I mean, it comes down to effort. I think we need to be more desperate on the defensive end. We need to fly around more. I mean, we put up enough points today to win the basketball game. So it came down to defense and then uh, just mistakes at the end that we didn't need. And, Jess, uh, tonight Dorka had a heck of a game. Can you just talk about what you saw out of her tonight? Yeah, I was really happy uh, Dorka got her first start today. And, you know, she came in. She wasn't timid. She did a great job for us. Um, you know, on the boards, I, she did a great job defensively. You know, she has long arms, so uh, I think she had a couple of blocks in there too that really helped give us some momentum. So uh, I'm happy for Dorka, and she played she played very well today.